Hi, welcome to Digisoft videos and Digisoft YouTube channel. Today we're going to see together the Denon DJ SC5000M. So it's the big uh, sister or little sister of the uh, 5000. Uh, 5000. It's the same format. Uh, you will be able to uh, play USB key. I drive, uh, you can analyze or not your track directly into Engine Prime or you can analyze uh, those tracks directly into the player. So it's the uh, rotary part, the platter is like a turntable and you can of course uh, like the 5000 you can directly plug your um, player on a computer, into a computer, and you can manage your playlist and you can manage a software like Serato or Tractor directly with this player and a USB cable. Of course, for Serato, you need a certified mixer like the X1800 uh, or another sound card, another mixer with a sound card uh, certified for Serato DJ. And for a Tractor, it's very easy because uh, with the third version of Tractor, you can put all sound card or mixer with a sound card you want. It will work perfectly. The AC 5000M is already in your shop for the price of 1,299 euros dollar. So let's see the product. First, when you load your USB key, you have to choose your own profile. It's very easy to prepare a profile. You go directly into Engine Prime, into your USB key, and you choose each functions you want to see into your player. You can navigate with your finger or with the knob on the right. For the browsing, you will have your navigation between your crates, your playlist, your prepare folder, the folder into your USB key, and the search mode. And when you find your playlist and your tracks, you can sort them by number, album, artist, list, key, or BPM. The prepare list folder is very easy. You can choose one, two, or ten tracks if you want. You put them into the prepare list folder if you need to pay them further. After, when you choose this prepare list, you can edit each track, play directly into the player, or erase it. It's simple like that. The search function allows you to have a keyboard and search for your track with two or three letters. On the left of the screen, you will have the shortcut function. You will be able to choose the color of your player, into the player and into the X1800 mixer. And you can choose the QLU quantization, the sync mode, the screen brightness and the number of the player. For the common functions, you will have your play, your cue. Of course, with this knob, you can edit the stop time of the pause mode. You will have a first search function directly into your track with shift and beat jump. You will have a beat jump allow you to make a jump on the left and on the right into the track and you can choose the length of the jump with your loop button. Two buttons to skip the track and at the end two functions to reverse the play of your track. Sensor will allow you to reverse the music but your track still play under. You can see the two waveforms moving and reverse allow you to make a real reverse of your music. The platter works with two modes. Without motor you will be able to make some bending And with motor, you will have a real turntable, you will have the bending on the crawl, and you will have the scratch on the platter. You can choose the torque of the motor between normal and high. If you don't want to touch the platter for making bending and just want to scratch, you can make some bending with a pitch bend in the bottom right of the player. The big accurate pitch comes with a keylock function, allow you to change the tempo without changing the key. This pitch comes with a range parameter, 
you can have plus minus 4, 8, 10, 12, 50 and 100%. And of course, you can match up to four tracks with a sync button. The first loop function is on the up left of the platter. You can make a manual loop with the in-out point. You can decrease and increase this loop. You can make an auto loop. And you can move the loop on the left on the right of the track. And to finish with the player, you will have the pad section. You will have 8 pads and 6 functions. First one, OQ. The OQ allows you to record 8 points where you want in your track. Of course, you can play OQ and loop with the slip mode, allow you to make manipulation, but the track still play under. You can record them and erase them with the shift button. The second loop function of the player will have two modes. First mode allows you to make a manual loop in point out point on the same pad. And you can decrease and increase it like the other mode of the loop. The second mode allows you to make an auto loop, but you can still record it on the first mode. Of course, you can erase it. Roll function allows you to make some little loops, but the track still play on the back. So with little training and gymnastics, you will be able to make some great things. And to finish with the pads, the slicer mode. The first mode of the slicer takes 8 bit and next 8 bit and next 8 bit, and you will be able to make little loop with two parameters to decrease and increase the length of the loop. The second mode of the slicer allows you to make an 8 bit loop and you make little loop inside. You can also change the length of those loops. For the connection you will have your power supply here, the on off button, the internet um, port for your uh, 4 deck if you want to connect uh, up to 4 deck, your USB, your USB out for the connection of um, controller mode for Serato tractor, two USB port for USB key or a drive, you will have on the front one USB port and one SD port. You will have your digital output and analog output for deck one and deck two, and a remote jack if you need if you have a um, mixer with a fader start function directly here. And it's done for the SC five. 1000M from Denon DJ. If you need any information, any questions about this player, feel free to ask under the video. Um, see you in next content and take care everyone. Bye bye.